Ever wondered what the difference between espresso and black coffee is? Well, let's embark on a journey to discover this fascinating coffee conundrum. You see, espresso and black coffee may seem similar, but they're quite distinct from the way they are prepared to their unique flavor profiles and even their caffeine content. The differences are as intriguing as they are diverse. So, my dear coffee enthusiasts, are you ready to dive into the depths of these two popular beverages and unravel the mysteries of their diverse characteristics? First, let's take a look at how each of these beverages is prepared and how it affects their flavor profiles. Espresso is brewed under high pressure, forcing hot water through finely ground coffee beans. This intense process yields a strong, robust flavor, complemented by a layer of velvety crema on top. It's like a concentrated shot of coffee goodness delivering a punch with each sip. On the other hand, black coffee is brewed more leisurely, typically using a drip or immersion method. Hot water gently extracts the flavors from coarsely ground beans over a longer period of time. The result? A smoother, mellower taste that allows the coffee's subtle nuances to shine through. It's a leisurely stroll through the coffee fields, allowing you to savor every moment. As you can see, the preparation methods greatly influence the flavor profiles of these two beverages. It's a fascinating trade-off between the intensity of espresso and the tranquility of black coffee. Now, let's delve into the caffeine content, serving sizes and brewing times of these two beverages. When it comes to caffeine, the concentrated brewing process of espresso leads to a higher caffeine content per ounce. However, don't be fooled by the small serving size. A standard cup of black coffee actually contains more caffeine overall due to its larger volume. Now, let's talk about brewing times. The espresso method is quick and efficient, producing a rich, full-bodied shot in just 20 to 30 seconds. On the other hand, brewing a pot of black coffee is a bit of a waiting game, taking anywhere from two to four minutes per cup. But for many, the anticipation is part of the ritual. The caffeine content, serving size and brewing time are all factors that can affect your choice between espresso and black coffee. Lastly, let's consider some other factors that might influence your coffee choice. Both espresso and black coffee can be customized with additions like sugar, milk or cream. Espresso is a staple of Italian culture, while black coffee's popularity varies globally. They both offer health benefits when consumed in moderation. Espresso equipment can costlier, making black coffee more accessible. The choice between espresso and black coffee comes down to personal preference and lifestyle. So, there you have it, coffee lovers. The ultimate showdown between espresso and black coffee. There's no right or wrong choice here. It's all about what your taste buds and lifestyle. Don't forget to experiment and find your perfect brew. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow coffee enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more coffee-related content. Also, check out the links in the description for some great coffee products. Happy brewing!